The lighting today is doing all right. All right, let's get straight into it. <laughs> hey guys, in this video, I'm... Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to... Um, let me try that again. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, in this video, I'm going to share my experience studying at Loughborough University. What's up guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, this channel is all about career, university and lifestyle. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience studying at Loughborough University. So I did four years at Loughborough. One of those years was an industrial placement year, which I'll talk about a little bit more further down, further down later on in this video. But in this video, I just wanted to give like a complete overview about my experience in Loughborough University because you may have already watched my honest review of Loughborough University, which I did, I think it was last year. But at that point, at that stage, I was still doing my industrial placement. So I thought since I've now finished university, like completely, yes, completely, <laughs> I thought, let me make a video talking about my entire experience studying at Loughborough. And here we're gonna go through that. So on the screen, you should see the topics that I'm going to cover. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Actually, 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 before we get into the video, please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new and leave a comment down below. It really helps this channel out and I would really appreciate it. And now let's get straight into the video. So we're going to begin with the achievements slash reputation of Loughborough University. In my other video, I did talk about the achievements of Loughborough University. So without repeating myself, I'm gonna talk about a few things that I've noticed now that I've finished my degree so that you can consider if you're about to start your degree or whatever you're gonna start at Loughborough University. So I've actually put a link in the description to the achievements page on Loughborough University's website. And you'll know that Loughborough is consistently in the top 10 of many national league tables. And it's also very much recognized in its achievement in sport. Just to let you know, Anthony Joshua has actually been at my uni quite frequently recently. I believe it's for training, but it's so cool to see that such a huge boxing legend is training at my uni. That just goes to show the level of advancement of the sports facilities at Loughborough. You know what, I was actually back up in Loughborough for my exams a few weeks ago and I was just hoping to see Anthony Joshua cycling around but I just I just didn't manage to, to catch him. I'm seeing everyone snaps and Instagram stories and he's he's there. I just didn't manage to see him. But anyways, in terms of like a sporting perspective, Loughborough is definitely up there. Also, one thing that surprised me recently when I was looking through Loughborough and its achievements was the fact that in 2017, Loughborough actually achieved a gold award for the Teaching Excellence Framework. And Loughborough was one of six universities out of 300 which achieved this award. And just to put it into perspective, the other five universities that together with Loughborough made what they call the Golden Six Elite University universities in the country were Cambridge, Oxford, St Andrews, Imperial College London and Lancaster. So despite Loughborough not being a Russell Group University, it definitely has a solid reputation and in terms of the quality of teaching and the facilities, it's right up there with the best of the best. Now moving on, let me talk to you about my first year experience. So when I was in my first year, one concern that I was hearing from a few students was that Loughborough as a town wouldn't be fun. And after being there for three years, because in my industrial placement I was in London, I wouldn't really say so. If you're someone who's into the nightlife or if you're someone who wants to have fun at university, Loughborough definitely can provide that for you because there are always events going on, at least from what I've seen. And if you're someone who wants even more options, Leicester and Nottingham are only a train journey away. So I wouldn't really say that going to Loughborough is like going to like a boring town or anything like that. In my opinion, Loughborough is actually very student focused and there are a lot of young people there, especially during term time. So in terms of having things to do, I don't think there's really anything to worry about there. If going out, and socializing and all of that is your type of thing. I wasn't really going out too much because that's not really my scene, but I did enjoy getting involved with societies and sports and there were plenty to choose from. Another thing that I'll mention if you're new to Loughborough is the whole process of familiarizing yourself with the actual campus and the actual town. And from my experience, pretty much everything you need is on campus. There are plenty of accommodations on campus. Most likely all of your lectures are going to be on campus.
campus, the students' union is on campus, the vice chancellor's office is on campus, the library is on campus, all the labs are on campus, all the sports facilities are on campus, like the list just keeps on growing. And from what I remember, Loughborough, the actual campus of Loughborough is like one really long rectangle. So eventually you're going to find everything that you need to find and it won't be too difficult to find. I should also mention that there is a shuttle bus that goes on campus, which is free. And it's much more convenient to use the shuttle bus to get from one end of campus to the other, because it's quite a large one. But talking about the shuttle bus, taking the bus from town to campus does come with the charge i believe it's one pound 98 and honestly whilst i was a student at loughborough i wasn't too fond of those prices because i was living off campus and in town and i didn't want to have to pay one pound 98 every time i took the bus to campus and as someone who comes from london you know london prices you can pay one pound 65 for an hour to use all the buses so yeah that was just one thing that i wasn't too fond of at the time and if you do decide to get an accommodation off campus and you have an issue with walking to campus or cycling to campus every single day then it would be best for you to consider the price of the bus on an ongoing basis but actually talking about accommodation at loughborough there's plenty of accommodation accommodations with different price ranges so you'll be spoiled for choice and I've actually got a video talking about accommodation at Loughborough which you can watch over here but yeah with that let me talk to you about my second year at Loughborough was it Loughborough or Loughborough I don't know. <laughs> so in terms of studying, I would say that second year was a lot more challenging than first year. And just to let you know, I studied computer science, so the experience might be slightly different for other degrees. But if you're someone who's going to study computer science, I would say that second year is quite a bit more challenging than first year. And if you're going to get involved in societies, which a lot of people do get involved in, in their second year, you're going to find that having good time management is really important. So just to let you know my own experience in my second year as part of my course I had to do this team project in which I was working with a few other students to develop this computer system and at the same time I was also leading a society so as part of leading my society I had to help organize events reach out to sponsors answer queries and questions from members and that kind of stuff and I did find balancing the two to be a step up in terms of time management compared to my first year but I believe that getting involved in societies or sports in your second year and you know really getting involved by being on a committee is really great experience to have but you don't have to if you want to start up a business or you want to get involved in sports that is also really great as well so with that overview of second year let me now talk to you about my industrial placement year so a couple of years ago the whole coronavirus pandemic began and this was when I was finishing my second year and about to begin my industrial placement year Loughborough University by the way very much encourages their students to do industrial placements so with my placement which was in a telecoms company because of the pandemic I was working from home but despite that I was still able to learn a lot about the world of work and I was able to figure out what I wanted to do for my career which wasn't working in telecoms but despite me doing my placement and working from home you know the university as expected is still very much involved in your life you do have a placement tutor who does check up on you and you do need to write reports about your placement for university so yeah now let me go on to my final year at university which in my opinion was the most challenging year from an intellectual standpoint just because the work is so much harder and you also need to do a final year project or a dissertation depending on what degree you study so for me as a computer science student what I was doing for my final year project because in computer science we don't do dissertations we do final year projects I was developing an app using Swift and that was the first time I was using Swift to develop an app and that was quite a learning experience for me and whilst doing my final year project I also had my other modules to work on and exams to do and coursework to do as well so it does get quite loaded in terms of workload but despite it being quite challenging at the time when I did eventually finish it it was very satisfying and I did feel as though my personal tutor was really supportive when things were difficult. And in that sense, when it comes to your dissertation or project that you need to do in your final year, speaking from my own experience, I feel as though personal tutors can be very supportive and useful as well. So yeah, that's quite a high level overview of my experience studying at Loughborough University. But to summarize that, I will say that I'm really glad that I went there. And if anyone's thinking about going to Loughborough, I would recommend going to Loughborough simply because I think that the experience that comes by studying at Loughborough is quite valuable. But 
if you do have any questions about studying there or you want to find out a little bit more do leave a comment down below or message me on my instagram and i'll be sure to get back to you but with that thank you so much for watching please like this video and leave a comment down below subscribe to my channel as well and i'll see you guys next time for another video